What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? That was not a good clap. Today we have a very, very pretty looking gun from a company you may have never heard of. It's from SAR USA. Now, SAR USA is the USA version of SARS Mars. SARS Mars over in Turkey makes a ton, possibly more guns than anyone else in the world. That many. That's not a fact. That's just a guess. But they make a bunch of small pistols. They're making like I forgot the calibers and the type of guns, but guns that are used in war all over the world. So uh, handguns is not new to them. They make a ton, a ton of guns. So we're gonna get right into this very, very pretty gun. Starting at the magazines, you can either get them 17 plus one or 10 plus one. I have 10 plus one because Rhode Island sucks, but the magazines are metal, they're high quality, they're good. Bright red follower. At this point, I probably shot a dozen different SAR guns. We have a local SAR rep here who let me excuse me, who let me play with a bunch of guns. I've shot like a dozen of them. All the magazines, all the guns have been good to go so far. Uh, the frame is a steel forged frame. If you notice, it's kind of a CZ-75 compact inspired gun or similar or whatever you want to call it. So this it's an all steel gun and that extra weight really helps the gun shoot really, really nice for a small gun. Your, um, your grip, uh, panels on here, excuse me, are rubber. They are replaceable if you want a nicer looking set of grips, but these feel really good. I like the ledge along the top. It, uh, my support hand rides on that ledge perfectly and that feels really good with my hands. Now your front and your back strap just has some lines on there. It's not overly aggressive. That's probably one of the small things I would change on this gun if I could. With that said, again, the gun is a steel gun and it has a ported barrel. With those two things, there is very little felt recoil. It's a very flat shooting gun. So the front and the back straps don't really matter as far as shootability. But if I had to be nitpicky, that's what you guys watch these videos for. Magazine release is very standard. Nothing to write home about. If you have very small hands, you're probably gonna have to adjust your grip to reach it. That's how all of these guns are. Uh, all of these style guns, not all SAR guns, but this style. You might have to readjust your grip to reach it, but magazine is fine. Um, good spot, drop some mags freely. I have nothing to complain or write home about. Now the trigger is a pretty standard double action, single action trigger. There's a couple little nuances that I wanna point out just so you know. Let's just make sure the triple check, make sure the gun's unloaded so we don't send around out the window and in my neighbor's house and that would be bad. So the way double action trigger, Double action, single action triggers work, if you don't know. Your first trigger pull is cocks the hammer. It's a very long trigger pull, but it's very smooth. And then the hammer drops. The gun recoils, and then every other shot is gonna be single action, where the hammer is already cocked, and you're just dropping that hammer. Now, if you choose, you can either carry it uh, in double action. This gun does have a safety as well, which we'll talk about in a second. So you can carry double action with the safety on or off, you choose. You can also half cock the hammer, so uh, you don't have to pull back quite as far. And then you could carry single action, please, with the safety on. I don't judge, you do it however you wanna do it. Now, the only other thing I wanna say is the reset is uh, is pretty good. Uh, double action and single, double action, single action triggers, they're gonna be much longer for you boys who are used to striker fired guns, but uh, this particular one is very, very smooth. The double action obviously is much heavier than the single action, but overall very, very smooth with a decent reset. So what we always do at this point, take a 10 second break. Let's get up close and personal with this trigger. It seems like you guys really like when I do this so you can see the take up, you can see the reset, you can hear it, you can smell it, you can taste it, and I'll be right back. Like I said, has a darn good trigger, especially when I get to the price of this gun, you're gonna be like, damn, that's a lot of good value. All right, safety is a strong side only for you righties. Standard safety, easy to sweep on and off with your thumb. Down is safety off, up is safety on. Very standard, 
no issues there. Slide release, again, very standard, no issues, no complaints. You're probably not going to reach it with the thumb on your strong hand without adjusting your grip. So like 1911s, 2011 CZs, I just put that magazine in. I use the thumb on my support hand, no big deal. You train a little bit, you can get just as fast with that uh, setup than you can using your thumb on your, in your strong hand. Now the slide is also steel. Obviously this is an all steel gun. Couple, a lot of things going on here. So the rails ride inside of the frame. That's why I said it was very much like a CZ75 or a Tang Folio. This is not a new design. Lots of companies use it. And the advantage there is the felt recoil and the mass that moves back and forth is very, very, very low. The, like the slide sits really low, low bar access. There's not a lot of mass going back and forth. Like a, if you shoot a high point, the slide is like this thick and it's ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunk. This is very, very smooth, very low bar access, and that's the beauty of it. The disadvantage of a design like this is the slide that you can grab is really, really small, so there's not as much uh, to get a purchase on. Um, luckily, the slide is uh, a very smooth slide, so it's easy to rack. I had my wife try, and even my wife could do it, but just know, smaller slide, obviously less to get a purchase on. It's just the, the way the design is. The rear has some really nice serrations. If you're going to run this gun, I recommend you run it from the rear. The serrations are angled forward. They're deep enough. Serrations are good in the front. You have some nice relief cuts that make it very, very aesthetically pleasing, but obviously not having serrations there, it's a little bit harder to run the gun from the front. So you have three on the side and you have two on the top and the two on the top are awesome because again, this model has a ported barrel and I don't know, the ports looking through there just look pretty cool to me and uh, yeah. All right, your sights standard, um, three dot, uh, three white dot sights. The rear is adjustable for windage and elevation, which is great and uh, no issues with the sights. They were absolutely fine. Um, we're gonna take this gun apart really quick. It's not very hard. Um, in the back here, you'll see that there's two dots. We just line up those two dots and then once we have those lined up, we are going to push the uh, slide release out the other side. I had to use a pen uh, or something to push it through. Give me a second here. There we go. Nope, nope, didn't go. Uh, I don't have the dots lined up anymore. And we don't edit our mistakes here on this channel. I show you all my mistakes. So anyway, you line up the dots, you pull the slide release out, simple as that. They're not difficult guns to take apart. Um, you can look inside the frame. Like I said, it's very similar to a tank folio or CZ75, something like that. Your recoil spring is a dual recoil spring. It is not captured, so be careful when you take it out. And then your um, guide rod is a steel guide rod, which just adds to the pleasure of shooting this gun. The barrel is also stainless. It is a, has a very, very nice polish on it. As you see, mine here is filthy dirty because I did shoot it a good amount. Uh, the ports are great. It, it, it really kills a lot of that felt recoil. Your feed ramp is polished and everything is all good inside of the gun. Uh, why I put this back together, you can take a look at the dimensions and the weight and the price. Look at that price. So um, all, an all steel gun is going to be heavier. So if you're gonna get any brand all steel gun, not just this one, just know 30, 40 ounces is, is a heavy gun. So the shoot, it adds to the shootability, but it definitely, if you're gonna carry it, it is a little bit heavier very doable still. And then the price, you know, depending if you get the stainless one or the all black one, I saw them between five, 600 ish in that area. I will put some affiliate links down in the video description. If you want to pick one up, hook me up, use those links. And more importantly, hopefully I could find you a good deal. All right, we're going to talk a couple things about testing and I'll try to be quick. The first thing I want to point out to you guys, someone else did a review on these SAR guns and they had a problem with 115 grain ammo. And I just wanted to, to put this out there. Um, I've had no issues with 115, 124, 147 grain. Even ran one magazine of hollow points. They're expensive. Just one magazine. Ten rounds. Um, these guns are made over in Turkey for militaries across the world. And those militaries, and, and they, they do things different overseas. So 124, a little bit hotter ammo is what they're designed for. With that said, I've shot like two dozen of these uh, SAR guns now, and I've never had a problem with 115. But anytime I hear something like that, I just want to point it out. I don't know what, the, maybe that person didn't break it in. The manual doesn't have a break in period. But I don't know. I've never had a problem. Just want to point it out to you. All right. The first thing I do when I get a new gun is I hit it with some gun butter. In my opinion, gun butter is the best lube out there. I've used them all. 
A lot of good brands out there, but I think Gun Butter is the best. After we hit it with some Gun Butter, we did our usual 500 round test, and I only carried it for about a week. Uh, been busy traveling, and I only carried it for about a week. So again, I apologize. Um, any of these guns with the really low bar access, the really small slide that rides inside the frame, shoot extremely nice, especially with the ported barrel and the all steel gun. It shoots great. Of course, we did the normal uh, drawing from the holster because I think a lot of people will carry a gun like this, so I wanted to do some drawing from the holster. We banged steel. We did some magazine exchanges. I shot it in very, very cold weather. Total of uh, just over 500 rounds, slightly over 500 rounds, and we had zero issues. No malfunctions, no problems, no... Uh, failures of any kind it was flawless through those 500 plus rounds and of course that's just because we put gun butter on it no these guns um, uh, have a reputation of being very durable so I don't expect any issues with them all right pros the value what you get for a saw USA pistol is through the roof they're just about to come out with a subcompact pistol the value and what you get for your money is stupid. The value is huge. Because they make so many guns over in Turkey, they make a ton of guns. Um, you get that volume discount, so to speak, because they make so many. Uh, it shoots great with the low bore access, um, the, 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 the slide riding inside the frame like we talked about a few times, especially with the ported barrel. It shoots really, really soft. Uh, it's a good trigger. If you prefer a double action, single action trigger, it is a solid, solid double action, single action trigger. Um, I dig the feel and the contours of the grip, the rubber grip. If this was my gun, I might put a set of wood grips on here that look a little bit nicer, but that's just personal preference. These feel fantastic. As far as cons, I want every gun to be optics ready. Now, a lot of the new SAR guns are optics ready, so if I w could change that, I probably would. Um, yeah, that is about it. I want it, I want an optic on every single gun. I, f I notice if I, if I have a gun that's not optics ready, I don't shoot it. It sits there, collects dust because my old eyes prefer optics. Besides that though, it is a great, great gun, especially once again for the price. Five, six hundred dollar all steel gun with a ported barrel that shoots this nice. Uh, people who make somewhat similar guns are significantly more expensive than this one here. All right, that's all I have. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section. Before you go, let me remind you of the affiliate links if you're looking to pick one of these up. Hopefully, I can find you a good deal. If you use those links, definitely helps me out. I definitely appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we have some swag. If you want to look cool in a Tiberius shirt, or a Tiberius patch on your patch wall, on your bag or something, the link is down below. Hook me up, get me a patch or uh, get yourself a patch or a shirt. So guys, we have a new channel sponsor, our first official real channel sponsor. We are growing up, we are becoming so cool, but I can't tell you who it is yet. You gotta stay tuned, we're talking about a tease. But I am humbled and uh, very happy that I have a legit channel sponsor for the first time. Not people who just sponsor videos, a legit channel sponsor. It's a great company um, and I'm very excited to share that with you guys in the next couple of weeks. All right, most important, say it every video. I mean it. Thank you for watching. It is greatly appreciated. If you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notification. If you don't do any of that stuff, Santa will put you on the naughty list and you won't get a SAR USA pistol for Christmas and then you'll cry and be sad and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Peace.